Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Armando. This is my first podcast of, I hope, of many new videos that I'd like to share. And uh, seeing that you clicked on this, is uh, it's your first time uh, going to college. And um, let me just say that I'm really excited for you. And there's a lot of things ahead of you and a lot of growing. Uh, for me, I mean, I'm still in college. I'm a fifth year. I'm at UC Berkeley. Uh, public health major, double minor in education and food systems, and I'm still pre-med. So, yeah, it's it's a, it's a lot of learning and growing and a lot of different experiences that you never really thought would be available to you. And I think that's the beauty of, of just going into college. And as a first-generation student, uh, let me tell you, uh, don't get me wrong, I've gone through the stigma, I've gone through the fear, I've gone through the questioning of, do I belong here? Is this right for me? And maybe this is too hard. And don't and don't get me wrong again. Sometimes that thought comes into my own mind sometimes. And one of the things that I've really come to realize that really reinforces me of why I need to continue doing what I'm doing is remembering uh, why I'm doing what I'm doing. And at the end of the day, you know, I want to become a pediatrician in, in my life. And um, I don't see uh, many individuals who are currently pursuing medicine uh, really able to not just understand, but have experienced many of the struggles that, um, you know, many of our first generations, low income families have faced. And just because, you know, we have this idea of who we want to be, whether that be an engineer, whether that be the next, you know, Bill Gates, or just changing life dramatically in a way that leads to new ways of thinking and learning. At the end of the day, you know, there's many things we can do right now. Um, I mean, I've had the pleasure of uh, being the co-chair of a very important organization close to my heart. It's called Chicano Latinos in Health and Education. And there I've had a, many fond memories and uh, and a lot of growth. Uh, I think what I'm trying to say is um, uh, when you're in a big campus, it's, it's important to recognize that we already have the tools and the knowledge to really do something for our own community. Uh, I know for, in our case, you know, we would talk day laborers, we would give them food, talk about health topics. We would set up different health fairs and to really encourage students, not only ourselves, but other students on campus about the different opportunities available to them. I mean, and for me, like I said, I'm some first generation, you know, uh, nobody in my family is a doctor, and no, nor did I know the steps. And But little by little, you know, you come to realize, you know, like support groups and friends and your first year for sure is going to be your hardest. Uh, they do say, and watch out for that freshman 15. It didn't get me, but it, it did get a couple people around me, but really get to know a sense of what works for you and what doesn't. I mean, I really recommend just focusing in school for maybe the first weeks and then going out there and getting to know people and engage with organizations and really take this as an opportunity to just try different things. And... I'm pretty old. Well, not really. I'm 21. But looking back at everything, it feels so distant. And there's many things that I would have told myself, you know, um, coming into my first year. Uh, one of those things is don't rush things. Be patient. Be understanding of yourself. And not to pressure myself into things. Because, oh, I know I was a little bit stressed out and didn't put sometimes my health in the, in the best of places. And I think that's some of the things that I've come to realize that is something uh, very apparent in our own community of first-generation students. And that's also a reason I also created another program. It's called EOP STEM. And if you're ever interested in asking more about it, feel free. We have a website on, on the Cal website. But... As a student, you know, in the STEM and at a UC, like I said, there's a lot of difficulties at first. You know, maybe you come from a high school where science and math isn't really, really 
in, you know, students aren't really have those resources or aren't as aren't able to be as engaged in those things because they don't have the same access to like labs or different opportunities uh, outside of campus or robotics and just seeing how things can play out in a very different way. Don't let that discourage you. You're very strong. You have qualities and many other things that I've just make you who you are. Don't lose sight of that. Sometimes we begin to compare ourselves to others. It's a natural thought. But there's a reason you're there. There's a reason that when you finish those four, five, maybe six years, that your name is on that piece of paper <laughs> it kind of sounds funny because you're doing everything for paper, but your name is on that piece of paper at the end of everything because you've earned it. You've gained the, the opportunity to not just empower yourself, but to empower others. And let that dwell with you for a little bit because, shoot, I haven't, I haven't even gotten my piece of paper yet. I'm about to get it at the end of this semester and yeah, don't get me wrong, it's been a very challenging uh, nine semesters, and I like to thank a lot of people. You know, no one does it alone. It really does take a family, a community to really push somebody. And, and don't forget about those things. And I think for now, this is... the end of this video but like I said I hope to say this is the first of many um, if you really liked listening to this or <laughs> my, my own thoughts uh, feel free to message me I'm always available um, like I said I'm still a student I understand that the difficulties and struggles that we all face um, even personal issues and I've had some of those and how to manage those things because they sometimes come out of nowhere so, hit me up. I'm always a resource. Uh, I can get you in touch with different opportunities. And uh, I have to study for physics too. So, <laughs> hope you have a good night. Bye.